Hi, I'm Jules and welcome to my YouTube channel and my studio and um, I want to tell you a little bit about myself before I do my first tutorial. So my background, I've been a sculptor for over 25 years and um, since I started sculpting I've taken an art history and fine art degree and it was really through that that I began to develop and, and move into painting and drawing and mixing sculpture with painting and um, I paint with oils, acrylics, resin, uh, watercolours and um, I just love the diversity that you know, being an artist allows me to explore in so many different ways. Um, the, the tutorials that I'm planning on uploading for you are going to be everything from paint pouring to working with resin, which I know a lot of people are nervous when they work with resin because it's like trying to control the uncontrollable. Um, but um, hopefully I'll be able to give you some insights. And um, in a minute, I'm gonna take you around my house, my home, and show you some of the works that I've made over the years and recently. And a lot of the work that I store in the basement is actually um, on my Etsy store or my own um, website. And I'll put the links to both of those below this. And don't forget to hit subscribe. So in my first tutorial, what I'm going to show you is this painting here. It's um, pushing and dragging and tipping the paint to get this, this effect and using silver foil for added interest and some um, texture, to put some texture in it, make it a little bit more interesting. I've actually made this one for my hairdresser because he has a panel um, electricity panel that he wanted to cover up and um, as I'm going to be hanging my art in his studio I thought I'd just make this for him to throw over his electric panel. Um, anyway, I really hope you get some inspiration and you enjoy my videos and you can leave comments below and I look forward to having a good friendship with you all. So now we're outside I want to show you some of my garden art that I have made. This piece was done in um, by welding steel hoops that I found at a junkyard and it's a little rusty so I think I definitely need to respray that one. And then over here, such a beautiful day. Gorgeous day are some concrete vases that I made and I am going to be giving a tutorial on how to make these and then incorporate resin onto them and they make absolutely beautiful decorative pieces. Over here, this was a piece that I did in a MIG welding studio. It is seven feet tall and it is made of steel. Um, what I have to do with this is I'm going to get it galvanized because every summer I have to um, sand it down and repaint it because the winters here in Connecticut are really bad and, and it just gets so rusty. And those are my initials, JM for Jules Madison in the corner. And here's my little baby. We're gonna go inside now. This is probably one of the hardest pieces that I've ever made. Um, it's a stone carving out of alabaster. And it took me about three months to make it. And actually, when I was sculpting this, I developed a really big muscle in my right hand bicep and it weighs about 50 pounds. I really was pleased with the outcome of this. Alabaster is such a beautiful stone. We are in another room 
These shelves have several pieces that I made on them. I think I might do a tutorial on mold making at some point. These are my feet that I created from a mold and I will show you how, that you, how you can do the same thing. Up here is a porcelain sculpture that I made several years ago actually. And then down here is a bronze that I produced using the lost wax process. You can see details. This is one of my largest paintings. It is approximately four and a half feet by three feet, or maybe it's five feet by three feet actually. And um, I decided to keep it because my little dog, Baby, Baby, she's around somewhere, walked on it when the paint was wet. And there she is. Baby, come say hi. Come say hi. You walked on that painting, didn't you? <laughs> anyway, she, she walked on this painting and there are some little doggy footprints hidden in it. So I wanted to keep this. She's 12 now and it's called Baby Feet. Now I am taking you down into my basement, which is where I store most of my work. And I have some resin paintings down here. It's all resin. Um, this is resin and gold leaf. This is actually mixed media. It's resin with acrylic skin and acrylic paint and some pen. Uh, I do acrylic skins, which are kind of fun to do. This is a, a skin on an acrylic background and I collage, I collage them on. And I have a few others here. That's another acrylic skin. Oh, oh dear. And um, that's another acrylic skin. And if anyone has a request for something, then I'm happy to show you. Um, I have a couple of black paintings, but you really can't see them in this light. They are black acrylic skins with um, latex paint and enamel and they're quite fun this is another acrylic skin here is a acrylic painting with some resin collage on there uh, this is one of my favorite acrylic skins i'll show you this and if i take you this is this is three foot by three foot if i take you in you can see the texture of the piece. It's almost, well, it's two dimensional. Anyway, there's that. And over here, no, I am not obsessed with pizza. In here are um, my resin rounds and uh, yeah, ready for shipping. It's a black one. Here's a brighter one. And all of them come with ready to hang on the back. They are signed and every single piece of my art comes with a certificate of authenticity. So welcome to my little haven. This is my home office and this is where I get to relax when I'm not in my studio and it is just mine. Nobody's allowed in here without my permission and as you can see the Queen is in residence. So I wanted to show you a couple of pieces in here. This is a wire sculpture that I made using just chicken wire and you manipulate it with pliers and you twist and bend and mold it and then it is dipped in paper pulp to give it this effect and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make one of these because they're actually quite fun to make. 
here's a little sculpture that I made out of clay. It's been fired. Put it in the light. And there we go. It's been fired and painted in a liquid bronze and set on a piece of um, marble, I think that is. The last piece I'm going to show you of mine, this was a self-portrait I did and it's oil and three foot by three foot in a kind of Picasso style and now we'll go back to my studio. So I hope you enjoyed that little tour of my home and my art and that you got to know me a little bit better. I look forward to uploading my first video to give you some tips and tricks and um, I hope that you get inspired by it and it helps you with your own creativity. Thank you and I will see you in my first video.